Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on that video. Coming up, is the Grand Force Brooks sharpening stone worth the money? Or is it a piece of junk? Coming up, hope you guys stay with me. Okay guys, is this stone actually worth the money? These things, you can spend anywhere from $50 to $80 for one of these things. Depends on where you buy them. And it's got this cool rubber casing, which I have to say I do like. Um, one side has got, it's got a coarse side on one side. It's got markings and says coarse. So on this side, it's a coarse stone. And on the other side, it says fine, fine stone. Oops. And the whole stone is only about this big or they call them a puck, I think, also. Um, that's the whole thing right there. And it is kind of nice that it fits inside this little rubber case, so that way when you toss it in your backpack, it's not going to get torn up. I do like that. Um, there is some, some disadvantages to them. The, the cost is the largest one. Um, some people don't like them because they're worried when they're sharpening, their fingers are kind of close. I am not super worried about that. Um, I don't know, it depends on what you what you like. But the biggest thing is, how well does it work? So I've got my my Grand Force Brooks small forest axe, and I love my axe. Works great, but how well does the stone work? Um, I did use the coarse section the other day, and it worked really well. And so let's just use this on this axe real quick, and I'll try to bring it in close so you guys can see what's going on here. So you're going to hold the stone like this and just do a circular motion. And this axe is already in pretty good shape, so we're just touching up the edge. Just touching it up. Got a little bit of a nick right there, let's just clean that up. All right, flip the axe around. A little bit more. Pretty good, maybe just a little bit more on this side. Pretty good. Let's flip the stone around to the fine side. Get in real, real close so hopefully you guys can see. It doesn't seem like it takes very much, and it works pretty well. I'm, so, I'm impressed on how quickly, as I'm using it, it removes the material that I need it to. Oh wow, nice and sharp. Okay. So, this was already in pretty, pretty good shape just a minute ago. So the only thing I did was just touched up the edge a little bit. Edge is in razor, razor sharp condition. Um, I could, if I had a strop, I could get it a little bit sharper, but that would be about the only way. Or maybe my large bench stones, I could get it a little sharper. But it's got a very, very nice edge. Um, I'd show you on a chunk of wood. Let me grab a piece of wood and I'll show you how sharp it is. I mean, that's a... When you're making feather sticks with your axe, your axe is pretty sharp. There's practically hundreds of ways to sharpen axes, and I've done several of them. But the question is, is this actually worth the money? Is it something that's worth carrying in your backpack? Um, you could use it with a knife if you needed to, but is it worth 50 bucks? Or would it be easier just to use one of the other stones? 
My biggest thing that I like about it is I really like the fact that it's all inside this rubber housing. I know that's kind of dumb, but I use my sharpening tools till I want them as flat and with as few nicks as possible, the actual stone itself. Because when I sharpen my, my axe and my, uh, and my knives, I want them razor, razor, razor sharp. I like to keep my tools all in tip top shape. And so in that regard, I do like this. If I was going to do an ultralight backpacking trip, I wouldn't bring this. But if I was going to do a bushcrafting trip and I'm going to be out there for a month or I'm going to be out there for three weeks, I would bring this because it would be worth it in that case. But if I'm trying to cover distance, this is not necessary. But anytime I'm in the car, if I'm going hunting and my axe is coming with me, I'm going to bring this with me because it would be worth it in that case. That's my opinion. You guys leave it down in the comments what you think. Is this actually worth it? Um, is this is this a good idea to bring with you, or is it like unnecessary? It's not worth the wait. Tell me down in the comments what you guys think. Please punch that thumbs up button that helps support the channel. And if you guys have ideas for future videos, please leave them down in the comments. I do read those. And if there's enough people that actually suggest something, I will make a video on it. I've got some coming up that some other people recommended that I do. Thanks, guys. See ya.